showing um, these different transfer techniques. And um, here I just use the dabbers and the metallics. Uh -huh. um, so this is gold. This one's pearl. You could kind of see in the light. Um, silver, obviously, and then I just use white. Um, you can use any of the dabber colors, so it doesn't just have to be the regular uh, photocopy. This one's just for, I would recommend going to Kinko's mm -hmm. photocopying. Mm -hmm. I, I can't say that all the ink jets will work because they're all Started. different. Um, what I do for this is just use the um, dabber with a paintbrush because you want to get a lot on your surface. So I need to kind of scoop it up like this and then spread it on what I would call like a mayonnaise layer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna just kind of get that on there. Kind of get it in the general area that you want it to go. And then take your copy and it's going to be flipped and place it down. I like to rub with my fingers. And then you can also use a little scraper, but you want to be very gentle with this. You just want to get it on there smooth. Yeah, you just want to get it on there smooth. And if you wanted less paint in some areas outside the transfer, you could go ahead and scrape at this time. Yeah, it'll work with any color of the dabbers. I've got a, um, like it'll work with any of these, okay. any single color. So I just happen to use the metallics because I like the way that they yeah. look yeah. kind of like tin types. And this is because it's a, it's the acrylic paint? Yeah, it's acrylic paint, but it's got a little bit of a chalky base to it. Oh. So it, it dries faster than a regular acrylic paint. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that's, that's what's nice for the transfer technique because it doesn't take forever. Uh -huh. so, Number one step that can go wrong is not putting enough down um, for your copy to sit into because you want to give it enough for the, the image to really transfer into. Number two thing that can go wrong is not allowing enough drying time. Okay. Here's one that I already kind of had started before you guys how much walked up. Time? I would say like maybe 20 minutes if you're just letting it air dry, maybe a good five minutes. Can you leave it on for more than that? Is that better? Oh yeah, you can leave it on for two weeks, two months, as oh, okay. long as you want. So what? at least 20 minutes? Yeah, Close I would dry. do like 15 minutes and then maybe blow dry it for an extra two. What I'm going to do now, now that it's completely dry, totally dry, I'm going to mist it. And this will work on any surface that you can stick acrylic paint to. So, um, you know, it says here you can use it on stamps, paper, canvas, wood, metal. Any surface that this will stick start peeling oh, no. up the paper pulp. Very gentle. I burnished, like here I didn't burnish as hard so that area kind of came up. Then what I do once I get it to a certain level of feeling like it's been revealed, I use the um, Rub It Scrub It pad and it's got this really nice little, um, very gentle scrubby surface. It's much more gentle than like your sponge that you would use at your kitchen sink. You don't want to use anything too abrasive. And at this point, you can just very, very gently start rubbing off some of the paper. I like to do it like in front of the TV. I just take my little mister and keep spraying and then keep rubbing. So obviously if you make it smaller, it won't take as long. But um, yeah, so you keep going until it was like completely revealed um, a couple weeks ago. And from my experience, I've done so many different transfer techniques. There's only a few different ways to transfer something. You either use heat or you stick it in some kind of goo or the other one? you use some kind of solvent. Those are the three ways and every single transfer is just a variation on what goo or what solvent or what heat source you're using. So I thought, I bet I could use these to transfer in and it totally worked. I was so excited.